just behind without the music. Welcome back. I'm Thanks, back. Thanks so much for joining us. We again are having a special edition of 726, and we're honoring the Red, White, Blue Festival. It's mm -hmm. coming up on the June 28th, 29th, and 30th, and it's a great time for a lot of people in the area. Mm -hmm. And it's actually supposed to cool down, folks. They said today oh, would really? be our last hot day, and then it's supposed to cool back down a little bit. Well, that'll be It was good. only 89 today, so that, that's you know, about yeah, 10 degrees cooler than it was yesterday. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I thought it was Whatever very pleasant heat, myself. So. I was enjoying the heat. But we have uh, Brother Tommy Cunningham here, and you're with the Mountain Home Baptist Church. Correct. And you have stepped in and picked up a big event on Red, White, and Blue, uh, the car show. Yes, I have. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a Do you have a special love in your heart for for classic cars? I do. I've okay. been a car person most all of my ministry. Mm -hmm. My wife used to tell me I should be a used car salesman and not a preacher. <laughs> but uh, no, you this gotta, event is yeah. really to raise money for Lou Gehrig's disease. Okay. My wife, as a matter of fact, June the fourteenth of last year died from the disease mm -hmm. here in Mountain Home and. I wanted to do something to try to raise money for research, and when I found out the Classic Chevy Club was not going to have the car show this this time, I just what a perfect fit. inquired around, yeah. and so we're going to have it on the grounds of Mountain Home Baptist Church off of Glenbriar, and it looks like we're going to have a really good show. Well, that'll be great. Yeah. And yeah. it's right there off the bypass, so yes. if somebody's wondering where it's at, because we have several Baptist churches in town, right. so we can get them mixed up. You can't miss it because you can see it from the bypass. That's right. The church sits right there to, to the left if you're heading east. Yes, just past Highway 5 there. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the cars are going to be out in the grassy area that oh, borders the, nice. the bypass, so there's going to be plenty of room. Okay. The motorcycles are going to be all up on the parking lot mm -hmm. so they can have a better foundation. And we're going to have a lot of vendors there. We're going to have a silent auction. A lot of ladies in my church are going to be bringing things to bake goods to sell. Mm -hmm. uh, I know there's been some lawnmowers donated to sell. We're just trying to raise as much money yeah, sure. as we can yeah. for, for Lou Gehrig's research. Okay, now is this car show only on Saturday? Yes. Okay. From so 9 till 3. From 9 till 3. Yes. Right. Do you have the best in show this year? Yes, anything like we, that? Yes, we're going to be kind of uh, relaxed this year. We want it to be more of a family thing. We're going to have a jumping. Uh, thing there for kids mm -hmm. and a big slide. Bouncy and we're houses. Have, yeah, yeah, bouncy okay. houses. And we're going to have a food vendor there selling hot dogs and hamburgers and we're going to have cold drinks and just make it a family affair. If you get too hot, you can go inside the church and cool off. Mm -hmm. and, Good. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to have uh, awards for the best, in, the best car, the best motorcycle, and the best truck there. And then we've got some dignitary awards. Some of the dignitaries in town have sponsored awards. Oh, and neat. So they'll be giving awards to the car, truck, and motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So they specifically choice. will vote for, for one of the yes. vehicles. Yeah. Neat. Yes. That's nice. Now, yes. what type of vehicle qualifies to come? Well, this is really... Uh, Completely you open? Br bring anything you want to. Okay. New, that you're old. proud of. Yeah, yeah, yeah so anything that you're proud of. Be doesn't have to be an antique, old, like but that. there'll okay. be a lot of old cars there. Yeah. For instance, I have a 72 Chevrolet truck that I'm just finishing, and this will be the first show that it's been in. Nice, mm -hmm. nice and I'm style, looking yeah. forward to that. But uh, there'll be a lot of cars. We're, we're expecting something around 100 cars and maybe even that many motorcycles or more. So it's going to be a, a big show, we That's think. Neat. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Well, it's always been a very, very popular event. And let's see. Um, Dash plaques for the first 100 uh, entry sports cars, trucks, muscle cars. Uh, now there's a rain date. Yes. Okay, that's interesting because I, I hadn't seen rain dates before. So there's a rain date of July 6th. That's correct. Okay. If, if it happens to rain, that's the worst scenario for a car show. Sure, so yeah. Yeah. we have put that down and hopefully and prayerfully that won't happen. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're just praying that God will bless us with a lot of people that like to look at old cars and and uh, each person that brings a car has to pay a $15 registration fee. That mm -hmm. money all goes to ALS. We're trying to make everything that we do go to That's ALS. Good. That's good. When my wife was dying with the disease, we were in Houston, and I was impressed with the need that they have for research money. And that's the seed that kind of got sown in my heart mm -hmm. to try to do something. So. And I understand they do this in northwest Arkansas every year up around the Fayetteville area. And I thought, well, if they do that over there, why can't we do sure. that here? Yeah. 
So we're going to give it a whirl and see what happens. That's okay, good. well, um, I, I know most people know that ALS is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Yes. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about the disease yeah. itself? Lou Gehrig's disease is an incurable disease. Uh, it's a death sentence. Um, by the way, before I forget, we're going to have a special award at our car show, the Deborah Cheney Award. Deborah is a young lady in our town who is living with the disease right now. As a matter of fact, she is in the hospice house as I talk. Uh, has been a brave, brave person with this disease, running a course of about six years in her life. Mm -hmm. But Lou Gehrig's disease is a disease that takes away all of your voluntary muscular control. When my wife died, the only thing that she could move were her eyelids. She could not move her arms, her fingers, her legs, her toes and her diaphragm began to fail and that's usually what happens when these people get to the end of that disease. Mm -hmm. There's no cure, there's one pill that they've, uh, FDA has approved that in test it gives three months extension of your life, but who wants to live three months right. when you're right. totally, uh, your mind is perfect. Mm -hmm. When Susan passed away, uh, she could communicate with me just like she was perfectly well, but she couldn't she couldn't move. How did she communicate with you? She, she could still talk. She didn't lose her voice. It was a very wow. weak, very weak voice. But uh, she told me the night she died, she said, Tommy, do you see all these angels around my bed? Wow. And I remember telling her, Susan, where are the angels? She said, they're all around my bed. And I said, well, what do they look like? And she said, well, they're so dazzling, so bright that I can hardly stand to look at them. And I remember asking her, I said, Susan, what, what are they doing here? And she said, they've come to tell me that today is my coronation day. Mm. And in about two mm. hours, she was gone. Wow. Uh, I think all the time about that, and I think, well, the angels were not there so much for Susan as they were there for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to know that, uh, as Jake Hess says, gospel singer, death ain't no big deal mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. you're trusting in Jesus. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, this is a wonderful opportunity. This, like I said, it's a very fun event and usually very, very well attended. And the fact that this year it's going to be a specific fundraiser uh, for Lou Gehrig's disease is, is extra special. Well, so, thank I, you. Yeah. so the people who come out, there's no fee to come out and look, no, just a fee for people who want to put a car. But I'm sure there'll be donations available. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We're going to have the silent auction, like I said, mm -hmm. and they're going to have a treasure hunt for the people that drive around town and look for things and bring oh, them back yeah, and then cool. they get part of the kitty but the biggest part of the kitty goes to Lou Gehrig's disease That's and neat. we're mm -hmm. going to have a DJ out there playing 50s and 60s music all day long and mm -hmm. Uh, like we said, we hope it's going to turn out really homemade well. Homemade baked cool. goodies. That always yes. brings mm -hmm. people out. The ladies of the church bring it, uh, making homemade goodies and things like that. And do they have any questions that says they can uh, call you directly at the church? Yes. So you've got a couple of numbers. I guess they probably flashed up on the screen yep. already. Uh, it says no bicycles, tricycles, or skateboards allowed. Yeah, we don't want those motor, in between huh? those cars. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I like that. I looked at it. Hey, I, I never noticed that down there before. Uh, so anything you drive, it doesn't have to be a particular age. Just anything you're proud of. If you're proud of it, just bring it uh, and we'll let you. Fifteen dollars is a yeah. small price to pay to show off what you And if you've got one in the love. process of, of being redone, you can kind of come That's and show correct. us where you're at. In the uh, if you, you take sure a tow can. it on a trailer, we don't care. There are going to be lots of motorcycles there, too. So if you like motorcycles, you get to look at a lot of different cool. motorcycles. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Okay. Tommy, thanks so much for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you Good for luck. having your me. Your first annual event on this, and uh, we wish you much success. And thanks a lot. It's just Thank off the you. bypass right. this year, folks. Nine to three. Nine to three. That's Nine correct. Nine to three on Saturday. Okay. All right. Now, who's coming up next? Uh, <clears throat> The Chicks and Spurs are coming up next. Dan's all excited because we've got their, their um, uh, are uh, a group of very bright ladies. And I mean that in both ways. And Dan will boo boo look at you all the time. They're very sparkly. Yeah, sparkly. yeah. Spar he likes sparkly ladies. So we'll have to, uh, I'll probably do most of the talking and be all right. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs>